Jurgen, could you mention where can we apply the unfix model? I mean, we're doing a crappy version of safe, or I don't know, do you have some examples where to apply it? Yeah, so um, the unfix model is it actually, it only focuses on organization design. So to give you a very brief uh, over, overview, there's the base, which is your sense of belonging. That's up to 150 people because uh, Dunbar's number uh, says that we can have trusting relationships with probably no more than 150 people. The human brain is not equipped to trust 10,000 people. It's impossible for us. <laughs> we can only trust a small number of people around us. So that's what that's what that number is about. The famous number 150. You should have a take it with a grain of salt because it could be 100, could be 200, but that's a, a good number to think of. Um, and then within that base, you would have self-organizing teams. I call them crews. They create value, so value stream crews. But then there are also probably some different ones, like the facilitation crew. Uh, that would be typical agile coaches. They facilitate the others so that they have it easier to, to, uh, uh, to produce value. Or there could be a capability crew of just a few people with a special talent, maybe cybersecurity experts, or maybe, maybe top-rated animators or data analysts that are very expensive. You have only a few of them, but you have many more teams. So they form their own little unit. And then there's platform teams that offer architecture and infrastructure, uh, maybe DevOps services to the other teams. Uh, so these are different kinds of teams, and this is inspired by team topologies, by the way. The book by Matthew Skelton and Emmanuel Pais is that they have a really good book, Team Topologies, that I recommend. And uh, I offer more. The governance crew is the management team uh, uh, that is a special place for the managers to go. Maybe there's just one, maybe there are two. That depends on the size of, of the base or the tribe. Um, and uh, the last two elements are an experience crew, which monitors the customer journey, which is bigger than just the product manager. Everything that the customer experiences from, from onboarding to invoicing and customer support, et cetera, et cetera. All of that is part of the customer experience. The experience crew should be monitoring that. And then on the other side, with suppliers, you could have the same thing, that you monitor the, the experience of suppliers and freelancers and vendors. I call that the acquisition crew. So these are the elements, and it's a bit like Lego. Um, I'm sure you know about Lego, Hector. <laughs> Many people in the Agile community do. Uh, it's great to work with Lego blocks. I was a big fan of Lego when I was young. I played with my Lego blocks, and I created the unfix model as sort of a, a box of Lego blocks. You can put them together in different ways. And now we get to your question, how can you, how can you use that? Well, I have a Miro template um, that people can use. Uh, it is part of the community. People can sign up for free and then they can download the Miro template and then just start drawing, start experimenting and put the blocks together and think, hmm, maybe we need a platform crew. Maybe we could use three or four value stream crews, uh, maybe a facilitation crew of coaches or maybe product managers. And then just begin and draw and, and imagine what a, a, a unit, a base could, could look like. So the first step is just to envision possible futures. Um, that is, I think, the first step for people. What, what could things look like? Uh, and then once you have a couple of different scenarios, it's a bit like scenario planning in, in strategy. You should think of different possible futures because the world is unpredictable. So this could happen and that could happen. So imagine different futures. And then when you've done that, you'll probably see, well, no matter which future is going to happen, in every case, we will have to get rid of this functional department and maybe replace it with a forum, a, a guild, uh, a functional guild. So, okay, that's maybe the first thing that we're going to work on. How can we 
change that department into a guild or as i call it a forum because no matter which direction the company goes this is always going to be necessary and then you will gain experience um, with with your organizational changes um, so i think that is the way to do it and then once you have some experience with one base you can start making others and what i like about the lego uh, metaphor is that every base every tribe is different it, it depends because because we have learned from from um, organization design uh, that uh, form follows function you need to know what the tribe is for what kind of product what kind of service it is trying to offer and that tells you what structure you're going to need on the inside uh, you may also have heard of conway's law uh, which says that, that the structure you have on the inside of the organization, you will see that in the product that you offer to customers. The, the, it, it is a reflection of, of the internal structure. So if you want, if you want that organization to, to offer something different, a different kind of product with a different architecture, you will, you will need a different team structure on the inside. Uh, otherwise it won't, it won't be able to make that kind of product. So yeah, that's that's what Unfix is about. Um, trying to be as flexible as possible with with the uh, with organization design, and I only focus on on the structure of the organization. I I don't talk about processes because Safe already does that. Less has good suggestions, and then there's so much good advice in the agile community I, I don't want to do that all over again makes no sense but i do think that the agile frameworks are a bit weak in organization design they intentionally for example do not touch um the, the management they often say like in safe and in less they say well we don't have to change any management relationships you can just introduce less and you can just introduce safe without changing reporting relationships well if you do that then you might end up with anti-patterns like a product manager being the line manager of product owners or something like that which is very much not recommended or you could have a manager on your own on your own value team where one is managing and, and deciding on the salaries of, of the others. That's also not recommended. So I say you need to address the management issue. Uh, you need to understand management reporting, direct reports, and actually everyone in the base, uh, all the, the managers, they all are in the governance crew and nowhere else. So that is one of the <clears throat> one of the restrictions of of, of my model, uh, and um, and I want to go beyond software because let's be honest, uh, all those agile frameworks they always assume software development, <laughs> uh, basically, and there are many organizations out there that don't do software at all. There are very different kinds of businesses, but still they want to be more agile. Still they want to be more innovative, and they want to figure out how can we change our organization design uh, without having to talk about software developments and i want to help those companies as well awesome yeah I, i'm with you with the management thing uh theory because uh, i have seen implementations uh with scrum where you have managers all over the place attending the dailies attending the retrospective e event and it, it, it's really bad right it's a very bad practice so taking care of management is important